about me, me, me. I guess I was raised different. I don't know. Yo, have you ever <laughs> seen that, um, that old um, video with Mario Luigi from Mario World? And it was like a parody of um, was it of Matrix? And it was like all these toes being turned into Luigi's, and uh, Mario was fighting them off. Vaguely, I I can't recall it, but I remember it's, something like that. It's like old school YouTube. It was off the of new grounds. It was wild. Okay. I'll have to go back and refresh my memory with it, but hopping in, we got Vash and yeah, Sparky. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 talk, I talk a lot, but here we go, as you said, we, time have, good. we have Vash versus Sparky, another matchup that we have seen very often, uh -huh. and it's one of those things where it's like, it's possible for Vash being, uh, just because, like, Marth faces out a lot, so he's yes. able to put out hitboxes that Pikachu can just clash with, mm. so then Pikachu is now forced to employ more Thunder Jokes to get Pikachu, uh, Morph to start jumping in the air. Because Morph actually has a lot of in-lag after his attacks. That is true, yeah. So you have to be very, very uh, spacing uh, specific on where exactly. you go in with his attacks. And Vash is probably next to only... I can count them on my hand. Uh, probably four other players or so in the area with Morph that can do a better job with spacing. Than so. Than Vash? Yeah. Like false and maybe a couple others that I'm, I'm not aware of, but oh, oh okay, you're going like from the people. Yeah, P A N J, like yeah, people like that. Yeah, then yeah, the best Marth is definitely um false, but that doesn't take anything away from that. Absolutely, this yeah, man, he's a fantastic spacer. I've been on the receiving end, and I know how how it goes. So I mean, this man's been improving everything. He's been even getting the um the wave bounce, not wave bounce, the B pivot um shield break is off. Yeah, yeah, true, true. So hey. this man has has been improving his game phenomenally. You see that with how closely he's keeping his matchup versus Sparky. Don't you remember the days when he would just get blown back? <laughs> now he just gets up smashed. Ooh, yeah. But Vash responded right back with a forward air, forcing Sparky off. But uh, he can just recover. Yeah. Oh, Dolphin slammed him and crawled to the platform. <gasps> the Thunder oh, wall. just connects and it did bounce. Does he have his up feet? It does come through. Wow, good job. Does he have a second job? Oh, yeah. That was enough smash. Fearful, he could, he fearful just, going in. He could have poked that shield. But that's very precise, especially at the apex of it. But a neutral tipper, I believe, that actually came through and uh, was able to claim stock. So now uh, Sparky really has to fight for this. And he is at 126. He is poised to do it, especially if he gets them on the ground with another uh, up smash again. But Vash throwing out the neutral game, keeping him far away, not letting Sparky move in, which is uh, Sparky's play style. Recognizing when you slip up and move in, especially with such a fast character as Pikachu. That was a oddly spaced... But I know what he was doing there, but I guess he was expecting Pikachu to jump forward. Mm. So this is Pikachu. He could jump back and still... This is Pikachu. He can jump back and still just quick attack to the middle of the stage. Yep. So I mean, you, you just gotta make sure you cover up as much as. Ooh, that, that was very beautiful. nice. That was that was an up smash. I know. He's he's being uh, overly careful. And again, if you throw that out too early, the last part of it will come down. I mean, he he had the air dodge a little early to make sure he didn't get hit by the thunder box. Right. But he was still in the area and got hit by the lingering thunder, so he just got sent upward and into the blast zone. But still, he has a huge lead right now, 17% to 19, although Sparky is making that climb. He is doing a good job pretty much reading uh, Vash's uh, aerials, whether it be an attack or just an uh, air, uh, air dodge. Yeah, there you go. Jesus. So. What sucks is that even in this matchup, um, Vash has to really secure a KO on a punishment, which is why I'm glad that he has Dolphin Slash. But one of his options, I mean, he's racking up all this damage, but even when he gets Pikachu to about 150, let's be real, are you really going to be grabbing Pikachu? Uh, no, not really. Just because the option of the, uh, the, the, what is that, the extension. Oh, the landing back air! <laughs> caught him out of shield, and that is going to give Vash the first game. Yeah. Shout to Vash. Just give that man a follow. Twitter's right there. Yeah, tweet it out. I tweeted uh, all the other guys that come here, so definitely follow what we got. We got Luck, Coach Pond, Vash, NTBD, Chibo, Niani, PK Sparks, me. I didn't enter. Well, well, you're still here. Yeah, I'm just here, though. Yeah, still. I ain't in there. You're PK Sparks. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad at this game, guys. I just it's it's funny. Like, but we're not gonna. I'll talk about myself in between matches. Right now, we're gonna talk about this match and where Sparky's gonna go. Right. And I was gonna say he's either gonna be dream. It's not gonna be Dreamland because he just lost on that. It could be Dreamland, but I know he likes Battlefield because I I can't get the picture out of my mind. I saw this man go to Big Battlefield and he was platform canceling off of all six platforms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like that's some training resume. Sparky definitely has a field day with uh, those tri platforms and even on Lilat as well. So anything would I'm actually surprised to see Vash take on the battlefield again. 
But no, um, no, this Vash won the first game, so this is Sparky's Oh, okay, my fault, my fault. Um, but yeah, you're right, on Lila, it is, uh, he can platform cancel, it's just that Marth also has the option to just up tilt or up tilt and or hit right to the platform. True. So it's not exactly safe. Though. Okay. So as a matter of fact, Vash could actually take him to Lila and take that away as an option, although he does give him the option of ledge canceling on the side, you know, during the tilt. Mm. It's all, it's, it's all situational. See Vash come in with a little bit of forward tipper, canceling out that Thunder Jolt. And Sparky retreats, trying to find his way back in uh, another another time. Whoa! Okay. Uh, all right. I wonder if that was done on purpose or if that was like a misinterpretation. Uh, Sparky's been known to throw those out a couple times, so it could be. That was a good punish. For, well, uh, he punished them. Mm. It wasn't a great punish, but he got he got a punish. Vash is actually keeping Pikachu away from main stage, except for now, though. Oh! Air dodging through it, trying to get the up smash punished. All these... Oh, my God! <laughs> They're going ham right They're now. Trying. They're trying. They're trying. Oh, cancels out in the fast spell. That was a good option for Vash. Try to catch him. There you go. They got the up tilt punish. F tilt mm. punish. Both of them, again, playing more of the neutral because they are approaching that uh, dangerous territory. Look at that. It's so safe for Pikachu to throw out a side smash. He can shield or act oh, beautiful tech. tech. Mm. But Pikachu can act out, act so quickly out of his moves. It's ridiculous. Right. I don't know. Personally, I feel like all smash attacks should have a good bit of lag on them because they're, they're like the finishers. So if you commit to a finishing KO and you mess up, it's like, oh, you should get punished for it. Well, for some characters, a majority of the characters are the finishers, but like Zero Suit Sam, she can do a lot even without her smash attacks normally. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm just talking like specifically yeah, yeah, about yeah. smash attacks. Okay. I understand that. Yeah, I can see that. And again, Miss Reed with the up smash will lead for Sparky to turn around and get one of his own. And he'll have the advantage even though he is at 104. Uh, even a tipper, there we go, sends him out. This is going to be dangerous for, I mean, tough for a bash, though, because now he's playing behind. We're going to see that Canty style from um, Sparky, which Pikachu is, can definitely employ. All right, good wherewithal. Just knowing his his opponent right there, the player that Sparky is. Right, this man went for the um, for the pivot side. I know what you're going to do. You're using a quick attack, but you have the lead. You're not going to go for anything offensive. You're going to run away. Yeah. Trying to catch him. Oh, he tried to nair the up tilt. F tilt. I don't know why he's doing that. Shark through. That's so deceptive, especially with the bulk that Battlefield has, like right before it goes to the ledge. Hmm. All right. That was an interesting little trade. All right. Pivot up to it. And yeah, it's going to be enough. Like it. Did you hear the sound of that? It sounded like Peach's golf swing. It was a. <laughs> 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 and that's all it was. And it was enough to get the KO. Like he killed it with the base of the swing, mm. of the sword. All right. 43% on Vash. Double jab. Which is ironic to say with Marth, but double jab. <laughs> yeah, right now Vash is just throwing out those tilts and actually keep doing a good job walling out Sparky and his, uh, his Thunder Jolts. So he is uh, choosing more to go with up B to close the gap. Oh, here we go. The aerial game. That's all he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And this is a situation where like, you're at you playing versus Sparky, you just have to make sure you stay as patient as possible. Make sure you just keep throwing out hitboxes when you can't, anticipate him to quick attack. Look at that, platform cancel into back air. Got a good amount of damage off. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you, as playing as Bash, you just want to make sure that, hey, you're not falling susceptible to anything that he may want to do. You're not going to let him frustrate you, frustrate you or bewilder you. Just stick to your game plan and don't get caught by the Thunder Spike Box. Mm -hmm. That's going to rack up a ton of damage and probably up smash territory. Almost had it there with an up tilt reset, but uh, Vash coming through with a dancing blade and forces him off to the side here. I like that right there. Like, this man re realized where Thunder was coming from. Oh! All right. Shoot! <laughs> oh! Gets the grab in the back throw. Another edge guard opportunity. Vash is feeling something right now. I don't know what, but he's feeling it. Is he looking for a tipper spike or something? Like okay, Dolphin Slash again forces him outside. That's going to be one of his best options to punish him. He wants to make, he doesn't want to make sure that that shield is um, regenerating right now. He's at about 40%, I'd say. Mm. Gets the latch on to avoid it. Oh, another second one straight off the ledge. This is enough smash away from taking this to a game three. But a neutral forces him out. Dodge is very nice. If he got hit by that, that would have been it. Oh, risked it all with that. I know Vash has opted to not go off stage anymore because he's been getting <laughs> SD a mm. lot, but at the same time, a situation like that, I don't think it's a bad idea knowing that your opponent has to has to recover and go out there and, and drop a back air. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! god! Wow! Oh! Did he try to I, uh, I think he tried to cancel it and that's why he caught him with the tilt. He did, he ran right off of it and he just wow. got tilted. 
But again, that just goes about understanding your opponent, understanding the Pikachu player that you're facing and how they utilize their quick attack and their platform cancel. Exactly.